Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today on FX Explain, I'm going to talk about uh, graphic equalizers. Um, and uh, you know, equalizers. You have them usually on your like your home stereo or something, or at least you had in the '80s. I did. And what they do, they adjust, uh, uh, instead of having like a treble and bass and mid-range, uh, they control uh, certain frequencies and boost or cut them. And uh, this is a effect pedal that's very commonly used and uh, you can actually do a lot of things with it. Not just finding like the nice and perfect tone, it can actually be an effect. Uh, and I'm gonna show some today. I'm gonna show some examples of what a graphic equalizer can do and how it can affect your sound. Yeah, there are several versions of this, of course, and they can look yeah like this. Yeah, or yeah, like that. Or like like this. Yeah, okay, um, some examples now. So I'll start with a, a sound that has no uh, graphic equalizer engaged. So it's a flat sound, nothing boosted, nothing cut. Uh, here is my regular sound. <laughs> And first I'm going to uh, work on the bass frequencies. So here I have a, a bass cut. I start with a, with a cutting, really taking away the bass frequencies. This doesn't only affect uh, the bass strings of the guitar. You can hear it will affect uh, the tone of your playing and the uh, pick attack and everything. So notice the difference. Here's the bass cut. Then from the opposite, a uh, boosted uh, bass, and uh, yeah, really nice sound. Here it comes. Yeah, there you can hear it. It actually affects yeah, the whole sound of the guitar, not just the lower frequencies or the lower strings on the guitar, sorry. Okay, let's go to the mid-range. Uh, I've, um, as I did before, I've cut it, uh, something they call scoop or scooped sound, uh, very popular in like 80s trash metal. Um, what you'll hear, mid-frequencies are where the guitar shines. That's where uh, the real um, the emphasis of an gu electric guitar sound is. So when you take that away, it basically kills everything. So here it is uh, with a mid-cut. Okay, lowered mid. <laughs> Yeah, very thin, um, and if you want to be heard in a band, especially because there you have everyone's fighting for frequency, space, and like vocals and keyboards and guitar, they are all in the mid range. So, you, and you want to be heard most, of course, you're a guitarist. Um, so then you need to yeah boost the mids and uh, this is also a trick that's used for uh, soloing to just let the guitar shine through in the mix used by guys like slash for instance he uses 
exactly this a mid range boost on a graphic equalizer pedal usually okay here it is a mid boost so a hired pushed mid range <laughs> Okay, who do you think will be heard most in the band? The guy with the low uh, mid-range or the high mid-range? Yeah, it's very simple. Okay, finally for high frequencies, um, here we have a high cut where you basically taken all the high frequencies away. And that get, gives you a rather, I don't know, lo-fi. Uh, not very modern sound and that some people use this actually yep here we go high cut <laughs> And finally, a uh, mid, oh sorry, high boost, where you boosted the high uh, frequencies. A rather harsh sound. Here it comes. <laughs> That'll get your heart as well, uh, maybe not in such a pleasant way. Uh, here, in these frequencies, you have all the noises that annoy us, uh, basically. Okay, and this has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd showing you what you can do with a graphic equalizer pedal. Of course, there are billions of other variations where you just push like the higher mid range. You have all these different knobs, or just yeah, exper experiment. It can make your own very unique sound with. Yeah, I hope you found this useful. This has been the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and I'll see you soon. Bye.